So here's another photo at the Sticks concert in House of Blues in Chicago. This photo is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's actually, I should say, it has some good elements and it's got a lot of elements that are distracting and don't really accentuate the story. And we're gonna fix those. So, and again, this is a photo that anybody could have taken. I love this guy's stance, it's really captivating. We have this pattern of all these light rays there, that's really cool. And we have a pattern of all the audience. So pattern is a really cool thing. If you could get like a randomized pattern in your photos, that's pretty good. And we have these three different elements. We got this, the stage, which is obviously a story with the musicians and the lights up here. We have some distracting things. We have this guy, really distracting red, right? It's a, it's a powerful color. We have the detail of his hair. It's kind of a little bit messy. Basically, we don't need, the, the, the goal is to, you know, less is always more. Get rid of as much as we can down here because it doesn't add to the story. This is kind of a dead space. There's just the backs of these people and it makes it kind of feel empty. You would think at a concert it would be jam packed. On the top, we have high contrast areas. Our eye will go up there. On this side, I don't know. That's not too bad. I think we could tighten that up a bit. On this side, I'd probably fix some of that stuff. So the first thing we want to do is straighten out this photo because it's a little crooked. If you look at this um, this element there, that whatever that thing, I'm assuming that's the level, whatever that is behind the musicians, these two elements there. So we're just gonna straighten them out because the very first thing you do is straighten your photos. And undoubtedly, if you're holding up your ca your iPhone or your Android phone, there's gonna, they're probably gonna be crooked unless you pay, really pay attention to that. All right, let's get started. So on the bottom, we're just gonna take this up. We want to, again, this is a decision of how much should we get rid of versus you know how much are we losing. At this point, we're really not losing too much, too much valuable information. We're getting rid of this empty space of all the backs of these people. But we really can't go too high up because I don't want to lose anybody else. On the top, let's pull this down. And let's go to about here. I, you could make the argument that that's a better picture with the lights shining, um, the source of the light for the light beams. But for this one, I'm just going to put it right below it because I think the light beams are, are sufficient enough. And this is going to come down to your style and what you think is kind of what you feel about the photo. On the left-hand side, I'm just going to pull this in. We have a little bit of dead space between that lady. I want to just make it tighter right there. See how there's no space between the edge of the photo and her back. So that kind of makes it feel like your brain will fill in audience that isn't there. And if you have a dead space, it gives a feeling that the place isn't as packed as it should be or it's a little empty or it's a very small group. And we want to make, we want the feeling of, no, this is a full group. And then on the right hand side, like this, we have this bottom right corner. I'm thinking we could pull this up to about here. And the reason is we have this nice dark corner with this woman's, the back of this woman's hair, hair her head. Um, we do have the high contrast with the white, but this guy's looking directly at the stage. It kind of sets on the right hand side, it sets the, the frame. So he's looking directly at the stage and everybody else is looking at the stage. So in this, you can see how we have this one, now we have this one monolithic group. It's a pattern of heads all looking at the stage. There's no empty spaces. We have the pattern of all these lights, which is pretty cool. And then we got the audience. The, I mean, not the audience. We got the, the focus of our, our story, basically. And this guy's in such a great stance. He's opened up. So that's this photo. Let's go back to the original and see what we got. So here's the original. And you can see how there's just so much extra information there that's not necessary. Whereas you have something like this, it's, it's much tighter. And this is almost iconic, the way with the lighting and the lights and the, 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 the stance of the musicians. I did another one with the lights at the top in. And again, it, it could go either way. I would probably tend to prefer this accentuates the musicians more, which is the story. You're definitely going to look up above with those high contrast lights. And there's really not there's not much of a story there. But, you know, that would be a preference thing. So that's it. Super simple. Now, go. Now the point is, is that whatever you picked up, whatever kind of aha moment you had or whatever you realize in this or whatever thinking that you've 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 learned from this, apply it to your own photos, go through them. And it just takes a few minutes to look at a photo, see what ask your question. What is the story and what distracts from the story and just start cropping away. And I guarantee you, as you go, you, you probably have some pretty interesting images you don't even know you have. And once you take away the stuff that doesn't belong, you're going to come up with some good photos that you already have. 
So with that, please like and subscribe because I am desperately insecure and I need that to um, make more videos. And if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.